Unfolding the eternal excellences, the hidden insights of the truth and the depth of the riches of wisdom and knowledge. The Bible says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have not pointed to your weaknesses. He says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have pointed to your strength. And this is your strength, that I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. The glory of freedom, the glimpses into eternity. The gospel is not supposed to be an assumption. It's not supposed to be just a mere presupposition. Truth is older than language, but the Word of God is way deeper than any human language. And now, Apostle Grace with the Word. I just want to open your eyes to something today. That's that. If people ask you what's the secret, you can tell them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So if you like, I want you to write the secret of divine providence. I want you to open your eyes to something. I believe I'll do a part today. And probably after next Sunday, I'll do another part. Because it's so big for me to finish once. Okay, are we, let's open our Bibles to the book of Philippians chapter 4. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's begin from the ninth verse. Philippians 4. Let's go up. I just want to begin from somewhere. Now when they go to Continue up. Okay. Let's begin from the sixth verse. He said, be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto you. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. There is nothing wrong with thinking about good things. Does that make sense? There is nothing wrong with thinking about wonderful things. Let's first go back. It's okay today. There is nothing thing wrong by thinking about pure things and lovely things. There is nothing wrong with thinking about good reports. There is nothing wrong with thinking of anything of virtue. There is nothing wrong with thinking of anything on prayer. These are the things we are supposed to be thinking about. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Am I making sense? I'm telling you things his zeal shall perform. Those things you have had, you have, those things which you have both learned and received and had and seen in me. Too. And the God of peace shall be with you. Next line. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly. That now at the, at, the, at the last your care of me has flourished again. Why in you are also careful. But you lacked opportunity. Continue. Not that I speak in respect of one. This is Paul telling you. Philippe. The church. Used to provide his me. And there are times they wanted to, but they lacked opportunity. He doesn't tell us whether they lacked opportunity by reason of the fact that they did not have, but I will prove that they had. But there are instances, for example, they would want to send him money and they don't know how to send it. And I was telling people, sometime back, I told them, 
when you're pitching tithe, offering, and all these things to the church of the Philippians, it's different when you're preaching it to a church at Corinth. Because the church at Corinth is in between learning and what? No kwakala. They lack, but they are learning. Am I making sense? Philippian is not learning. Are you hearing me? Thessalonica has not even learned. Are you hearing me? They have not. They, 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 they don't even know what it means. Are you hearing me? In fact, if, if you go to the later verses, it speaks of how is, he told them that not, I don't seek your stuff. He's telling Philippians. But I seek for a fruit that will abound with your account. And he says, I remember sometime I went to preach. Let me see if I can show it to you. I didn't plan, but let me show it to you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Let me look for it here. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the 15th verse of it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel when I departed from Macedonia Macedonia no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving. But only you. Listen to the next line. For even in Thessalonica, you sent once and again and to my necessity. Continue. Not because I desire a gift. But I desire a fruit that may abound to your account. Are you hearing that? But I'm going to take you back now. Let's go back to the other, the other bit where we were at before. The, 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 the Salonika were babies. How about the Salonika? That's why you hear Paul say, as a, as a, as a mother cuddled our children, I held you babe. You can't spread baby. You can't manipulate baby. Do you understand? You can only love them. And feed them. And at a particular point, Paul even speaks of how he robbed some churches. Are you hearing that he might provide for beds? Because they are beds. Simple. Do you understand? Now, if you manipulate beds, that means you will be rich. But the testimony will be that you seek your own, not theirs. When we were going into university ministry, a man of God told us, students are broke. That's why we don't preach to them. Michael and I know guys we called. The guys they used to call back in the day. He he said, they tell you my truck can't move for anything less than a hundred thousand. He's taking his price. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Am I and truly there are cars who don't move without a hundred. And there are some they sent money to and they didn't even come. <laughs> they sent money to they send last time moment, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to make it, but I'm going to send somebody. Then they send a car. Funny guy. Who's lying to the authority? Am I making sense? Do you understand? But if you were sick in your own, some of you would be having holes in your pocket now. But nobody can say Pastor Isaiah begged me. Papa begged me. Papa begged me. The first buses of Mr. Ambo, we used to contribute money every route. Until one day one of the kids said, ah, Papa, no, no, no. No, 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 no,
Do you understand? But we are willing to uphold them because our bed. Am I making sense? But I want to open your eyes to something. And I want to explain why many people don't move in divine providence. Because I've been in a place where I used to type. I give. But I don't think. I never have to think. Am I making sense? Have you been around a place where somebody cries? They, they eat, eat, but now they do everything. And they don't see. They tell you that. And, and, and the only comfort was don't give up. Don't grow weary in doing good for in due season. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? you will, what? People have it. So, well, some of us have yes, some of us have not understood season. We, we thought season is a time where mm. now you have to give. So when you are 70, God gives you a Benz. Do you understand when you can't even drive it? Then you testify, when you testify when God gave me a Benz. You understand, friend, to tell you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says he gives you all things to enjoy. Are you hearing me? Then I'm sorry, Pastor Zach. Some of us were raised in a church. If somebody said, you're rich, I feel they are falling. I'm talking, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Are you hearing me? Of course, there are some who preached it to the extreme. Because they didn't have any other summons. Are you hearing me? But if they had, they would not be preaching that only. Me, God anointed me to preach prosperity. Prosperity is not money. Money is only a fraction of a prosperity. Are you hearing me? I was sharing with Emma. He knows a certain woman of God. I know this woman is anointed. She's one of the deepest prophets I know. But she's one of the brokest Christians I also know. Do you know a broke prophet? Who can receive the word and tell you? And they are then the last line they add their own. The last 10 seconds they add their own. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? I looked at this woman and I'm thinking, this is disappointing. Are you hearing me? Yoshikara Baba, then you go back home. <laughs> and somebody does something to you because they have more money than you. They even scoff at your God. And they even scoff at your God. Are you ever praying? Do you understand? Mm. What are you praying yet you have nothing? Oh, you understand? Do you even force yourself in a crazy fast? You don't fast, but you take a You are on because you have nothing to eat. I'm seeking God. When you decided to fast, the person gives you food and you say, God. Now. If you ever go on a post fast and somebody gives you food, eat it. Because you forced it in the first place. Because if you don't eat that food, go man. Tomorrow it can even worsen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Paul tells you that I the Philippian church provided. That's why later when he tells Philippe, like, my God shall supply all your needs in Christ Jesus. He's talking to Philippe. Somebody in Thessalonica can't borrow that portion. Even if you claim it, you'll stay broke. Am I making sense? Even if you say, me, I'm rich, uh, you'll stay Bro. Because this is Philippian he's talking to, not Thessalonica. Go in the letters of Thessalonica and then see what he's teaching them. Am I making sense? Are you hearing me? Am I making sense? And because we've not taught men, 
There is a hardness in the hearts of men. That uncomfortable thing. When you talk about money, what? It's there. It's an uncomfortable thing that comes inside their hearts. Because many have been robbed. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I just wanted to show you something. Before you continue, he says, not that I speak in respect to one. That means Paul is not wanting. But remember, he goes to Macedonia on a trip. And not Macedonia. that supported him. Paul was on the first one. Even the twelve. The Bible says, when I sent you without pass. Without the did you lack anything. And they told Jesus, we never lacked anything. And I'll, I'll explain why in a few minutes. So he says, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am their way to be content. Now, when you're talking of contentment, many people misunderstand contentment. Because in the English language, when you're speaking of content, you're speaking of somebody who feels satisfied, yet they are broke. But this is not Paul. I know some Christians have built funny walls around them. You understand it? They, they, when they are broke, they say, Kastang in as long as I'm going to heaven. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Amen. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? But the problem is, they still covet. You understand? And because they still covet, you don't hide it. She likes the glasses, she likes the earrings. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm content with myself. I don't give a hoot. But I'm I'm if you see them jeans, they cover you. <laughs> In your heart, you, you know. Why? Because God is good. God is good. All good and perfect gifts come from the Father of Life. You you must understand understand it. It. Even if you convince yourself you are satisfied. Me, I know when you see a, a, a sister smart, you feel bad. Me, I have God. Then you come with your mother. You feel uncomfortable. You don't want to look for a seat where you don't want anybody to observe you. <laughs> Hello. Right, look at them. <laughs> okay, let me just give you a simple analysis. If a person came with a hole in a trouser, oh, it's shut, oh, it's top. You understand? Uh, some Christians, like, let's say it's just here. Why do you enter like this? Then you sit in that corner there. <laughs> then you stand up and testify, I'm content. Why is it that when you're testifying, you don't stand that cover a bit and say, I'm content. You understand, friends? That's why they come inside the Hebrews 13.5. Let's just go back. Hebrews 13.5. Let's just go over there. He says, let your conversation be without covetousness. And be content with such things as you have. Are you hearing me? As you have. You understand? Now, many Christians misunderstand that for thinking that if you have torn pants, you'll be content. And I'm about to disprove that. that. I'm about to disprove that by the gospel. Because that means God is covering himself. Do you understand? If, if, if you're saying, I have 
torn clothes and then you're content with your tornness. And the Bible says you're the glory of God. Do you understand why do you think Jesus used to put on nice things? He, he, he was a glutton and a wine Bible. Why do you think everyone he sent never lacked anything? Because he sent them. Do you understand? When he tells the church at Philippians, my God shall supply all your needs. All your needs. There is no way he can again come and tell you people if you have holes in your shirt. So I just want to define the things men have. Are you understanding? Mm. So he continues. Again, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Next. Uh-huh. Ah. Pray for this guy. Let's go to the next, I think it's the next, uh, I don't know, verse, chapter, anything. Let's just continue. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Let's continue. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversations. Those things we tell you every Saturday. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Continue. Be not carried about with diverse and strange. For it's a good thing that their heart be established with grace, not with meat which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. There are people, and, and that's why I wanted to first say something here before I go in. There are endless things that we have had over the years but don't profit us. Am I making sense? And such as Iranga. of the thing I'm going to disprove today in your mind. And you'll understand why you, you never see profit in your life. Because the Bible says, He is the God that teaches us to profit. God has created a grace for you to profit. There is a teaching in God. That even if you have been making losses, the moment you enter this thing, you will profit. Am I making sense? Now, the reason as why church is the way they are is because many of them have not been taught the gospel to profit. Even if it seems rightful, but it leads to destruction. You understand? Mm. You see, when people talk of the love for money, huh? I realize love for money has nothing to do with the state of the man. I've seen broke people who love money. I've seen medium folk who love money. I've seen rich people who have money. So, who love money? So, regardless of whether you're rich, middle class, or poor, the love for money is another thing. Since on Gobodimga Gobodi Wakati Mubonji Nobuta Banabinji Neng Obodi Mwavu Okagala kwa Sente Tekuna Kwa Gana Chinchuna. Are you hearing me? Om Pulida. Are you hearing me? Om Pulida. You don't need a set of a man to love money. Okwagala Sente. You just need to create want and need in the man's spirit. He will love it. He will love it. He will love it. Make him feel he doesn't have. Make him feel he wants. Make him feel he needs it. Make him feel it's necessary. Make him feel he can't do without it. Make him feel that it's nothing he can do without it. Divert his attention up to the need. He will love it. Are you making sense? 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 And some men actually preached into loving it. By this funny doctrine. Are you hearing me? Now let's go back to Philippians. So he said that I know how to. Let's go back. Today. He says not that I want. You understand? He said not that I want. Both. I speak this in respect of. I don't speak this in respect of one. For so I have learned in whatsoever state to be content. The Greek word there is the word called altakes. I can spell it for you. It is A U T A R K E S. 
It's from two words. Altar, like auto, auto, self. Yeah, like automatos in the Greek is automatic, self moving, self control. Go quick for gum. You understand? Now, autos, like auto is like self. Chiringa, auto, chiringa, katinga, omo, gwe. And kes, kes. Independent. Oku, 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 Not broke. Oku, 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 Not satisfied with what you have. Siku, oku, 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 independent of any man. Nenga, gwe, we, tongo, za, tope, da, oku, 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 So, if I remove that and say, now that I speak of one, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am in, not to be subject or independent of a man but to be independent of myself. The other renderings in Otakes actually use the word having all sufficiency by myself. Paul not speaking of a contentment of satisfaction because you have little and you have learned how to be comfortable when you're eating posho. No. He's talking of how a man can learn to be independent of himself. And that's the one thing I'm preaching. I'm, I'm teaching Christians. Let me begin from there. You go to a place. You spend 500,000. You spend a million shillings. You spend 5 million shillings. And you leave that place and they don't give you a dime. Of course, what you expect is dependent on them. You have a problem. How could they not give me a dime? I'll never go back there. Maybe you even think they didn't welcome your ministry. They don't need to. Go there. Do you understand? How many times did we preach in Afroston? And they've never given us a coin. We came every Monday. Do you understand? But you see, many men are dependent on other people. Am I making sense? You don't need anybody in this world to uphold you. You don't need anybody. Many Christians have pierced themselves with a lot of sorrow. Because they depend on people. They have disappointed their values. They have disappointed their morals. They feel the blessing of God upon your life because they think Somebody in there must help you. You don't understand, maybe. Some people have never been independent of, the, of themselves, independent, self-independent. Have never been self-independent. If it's a woman in a home, you think your husband must provide this. Baba mchana makalo za mami ya ino gabi ya diyo na. Counseling a woman. Nalimu ino mchana. Nide, ita gabi ya diyo na. Ita gabi ya diyo na. You have God. You provide. Ori na katonda kwa gabi ya diyo na. You teach him. You teach him. Kwa mu yigiri ze. Let him get out of our house and say, I ain't going back there. Le kagamu nyuma ya kani sitele. I'm asking why the woman is rich. Kwa mwane mchalo limu gaga. You teach him. Mu yigiri ze. Some people like London Free Bridge is falling down. So if it falls, it will not fall. Because of London Bridge, no. Let it fall. You stay up. You stay self-independent. You don't need anybody to depend on. Every young man came. And I was going abroad. And the man who was supposed to take me abroad died. Continue processing your papers. But he had buried them because the man who was supposed to take him abroad died. Whether he's dead or he's not, you are not under covenant with man. Get rid of that nonsense out of your head. Let me even watch on it. Not even your salary. Not even your salary. Because salary means what your boss decides. 
is what he pays you. Yet there is another way God pays. When God tells you, I shall supply all your needs, look at your salary and compare. Oh! When he says, I shall supply all your needs according to my bank. But not yours. Why the time? He's not talking about what you're earning next year. He's not talking about the annual bonus. He's not talking about, about, about the weekly increment. He's not talking about the loan facilities. He's not talking about, about the OD, the advance. He's talking about his providence. Now look at your company salary. Yeah. Four million three. Six hundred. Two 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 Want according to what you're paid. Not even according to who you know. He is saying, I will supply all your needs according to my riches. Not even according to what you have. I will supply all your needs. Otakis is the grace when a man understands that nobody can meet your budget. See, some of you have not understood. By the time I even get those millions to put them in the gospel, he gave them to me. He gives to me. There's another way he can get it to me without him using you. Did you fail? There's another way. Get delivered out of this mess. Yes, they're not paying you. So what? Just look for another way. There's always a way. You don't need big self-independence. One time I walked into a broke church. The pastor told me, I don't know what to do. Even the one who's given you is a miracle. I told him, I've also sold this money in you. <laughs> I told him, Take the man and add it in the church. Let the church prosper and develop. Because their thought is poverty. How can a Christian say, Nabu no miracle? This is a church. He will build it. Not anybody. He will build it. Check somebody and tell them, be independent of any man. Somebody gives you a call and says, I'm going to give you a call. What? I'm going to give you a call. Someone promised me I never gave me money. So, I expect me to also lay hands on you that that person will give you that money. Supposing they run broke. Some of these guys are not even born again. Who promised you? God is refusing even that money to get to you because it is not of him. He wants to get you your thing. And you want me to also add on and say, Mukama. And so the one who promised them money, give them money. Whether they pay you or they don't pay you. You have a automatic independence. Orina okwe wanida kweka kuli okwe kule bwakoka. Na tega tega ngamba. When a man of and, and, and now let me speak to preachers. Katika njugeria ba police. Because you'll go somewhere. Wangu jikwa kuholaga. And be looking in the basket. Wengo tulala mchi bobot. Over him and you count. We've been to places where you can put. 10 or 20 or 50,000 in a basket. They get the cavalry note and straighten it. Back in the envelope. Now, when I was in the front of the church, when I was in the front of the church, when I was in the front of the church, when I was in the front of the church, when I was in the front of the church, it was the only recognizable note there. Yeah, that's one hundred, one thousand, which are dead from fishing. The rest are unidentified. 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 You see, when the Bible says the worker is worthy of his meat, if you know you're hired by God, don't even think anything given to you by that church. 
is of the same pay that he wants to pay. Independent of people. That day was sharing with Pastor Zach and he was telling me of a man of God who is complaining. The is not growing. Brother so and so takes the title. Yeah, the the child. Child. If if there were all three three here, here. You know, we'll be independent. It's about time. That they can breathe. Take it. It's worth it. Take it. You're still under a covenant. It's worth it. 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 Enter a relationship independent. Enter marriage independent. But stay of dating. Hey. Hey. They say you don't just bring fire on that person. But stay. Hey. Stay in marriage. 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 And you start singing, do you singing, la 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 la, 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 you're looking at like you're acting like I know. Put it on the table. Let him know you're not looking for money. You're not looking for anything. You're not looking for Some preacher made a silly statement. I'm sorry to use the word silly. Hey. Men, you must provide for your family. That was true. And he said, because God has created the man to provide for the family. And I said, yes, that's what he said. And he has created a woman to depend on the man. I said, no way. No. It's not written anywhere. Who has seen it anyway? Now you, you want to build a, a, a big thing. This guy's faith is small. He's believing God for a motorcycle. The Bible says he that finds a wife gains favor. He's supposed to build the guy. Okay. If you want it the other way, that's your problem. I'm only saying you, you can be independent. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Fire. 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 Do you understand? Then a woman says, Since I'm going to leave this guy, he's not providing for the house. Okay, our heart of Christ is really different. We people of heart of Christ are different. We are different. We, are different. we have money. But the woman says, the guy is not providing for the house. I'm going to leave him. No. With what you know. With the contentment from God. Feed him, he will feel shy. Mulisa, Jaku Suara. <laughs> I just get in that cola. I'm telling you. You can work. I'm not worried. Hey, Mukeng Singa will come at ya every morning. I'm going to say, "Come on, put it." Hey, it is a vote for you. Eat some food. Any man knows. What must you do? Once a woman starts feeding you, you don't need any other salmon. You better go and drink that lion now. If he doesn't want to work, once a woman feeds you one day, next day, next day you find the guy dressed up. Where are you going? Because she fed the car. Where are you going? Because she fed the car. This is the this is the blazer. None of my things. You don't even care about the family. You're not dependent on him. You live by God. You live by God. Not even your salary can sustain you. No, Mr. Lagoda, going to go and eat and Sylvia, can I give your testimony? Sylvia, go with Julie. When I met Sylvia, the kid was dying. I think I'm going to sleep. You're going to be She had borrowed money. Maybe it was a cent from the bank to take it to India. Bank to tell her money. Pray for a kid. Instead of a woman. 
while it was about a few days, she had already paid, so there was no way to go back and forth. She had gone everywhere. Again, everyone. Prayed cancer. It's our cancer out of the body. Cancer never moved. Mr. Opros took the kid. Mr. Opros had told him was delivered. After that, because she had already gotten a loan before. Yeah. How much were you earning after those two loans? Fifty thousand. You told it time. A banker. Banker. Fifty. You told it time. She came. She had kids with you. Umana ngawonye. But this is the devil. He has taken money. You understand? It's sentence to take. You understand? It's together. We sat down with Sylvia. Told her these are the, the principles to make money. Told her, hey, this, hey, that, do this, yes, do that. That's how you're ready. We said, we said, kawa. Naga kati, tuali wizibu. Sylvia got so rich that kids in the bank, women in the bank, they shook three times. I've never told you three times. The first one was sitting in back office. She asked me, how much does Sylvia spend in a day? Livia, akwe sabu nje na bachoba sente mulu nako. Not how does she live? Si, abeda wa. How much? Because she was spending much. Vari akwe sa sente nye nje nyo. Now, me, I know Sylvia. In the Sylvia money. I know who, who she buys clothes from. I know. Manyani kwa gula kengo ye money. I know Sylvia stops that cost a hundred thousand. I know them. I know shoes that cost two hundred thousand. I know them. Manyani kwa zemitwale makumia bidi nze money. Me, I know her. Nze mo money. You understand? Speak you must speak because I don't. You understand? Mm. Then another one came. Mlanadja. Another day. And said, I think that woman is the smartest in the bank. Now, me in my heart, I'm like, Ah, mm. so I'm listening for her. Mm. And mm. I tell her this thing. Pastor mm. mm. James, I will come and sit in front of you. You're welcome. Praise God. Can I continue? Can I continue? Mm. Can I continue? So, she started to live this crazy life. I'll tell you, somebody even got jealous because of her. She was too hard to even trust that she's not using bank money. And there was not a man in her life. I'm kind. Are you hearing me? Mm. I just told a woman anything you want. But you're not sure you're she got so crazy yeah, that, that you just wake up and come in the tooth. She Everybody order for what you want to eat Nanga, today. But but what do you want to drink today? Without silly English, what do you want to eat today? Anybody order for anything you want to eat today? I'm going to pay. And then she beats all of them. All of them. The next thing I know, so we are coming to pray. See, bankers are all in their bags. They are coming to see the God of Sylvia. Am I making sense? Fifty. She was not living as any man's money. She had learned how to be independent of anybody. Recently she came and told me, I'm tired of sitting in other people's cars. I want to go to the car. 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 I want to go she got crazy to a place where she can wake up and say, I want this person. Yeah, look, and and this girl, what did you say? Oh, she's so crazy. She's so crazy. Because she's so crazy. 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 She's to manipulate you to give me money. This ministry can't stand without you. We need you. We want to raise you guys to raise some money. Do you understand? We take it. 
a thousand dollars come here. I bad dollar look me. I please call two thousand dollars come. I bad dollar baby. When we be pray for you. Shaba baba. Shaba baba. Shaba baba. Shaba baba. Shaba baba. Shaba baba. Do you know how much we spend? Omanye when you pay the tsasanya every month in this place. Buri mwezi mchipochino. And how fast it took us to build it. Iranga we chat to alamangu nyo kuzimbe chizimbe chino. Now seven months only. Chemezi misambu joka. Six seven, six months. Six months. You bought that, we're buying here. Some of you even know your money can't do. You can't spend how much we spend every day. And this is so small. So small. So small. What you say? Kolamakulu. But the progress is there. Do you understand? Mm. When we say we're gonna do this, we do it. To Chikola. Nobody can stop us. We have gotten you from the thought that you're broke and giving God to be rich. No. 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 It contradicts all our case. All our case. You are independent. You are independent. You are independent. Self-sufficient. That means you can provide all you need yourself. Without anybody helping you. I no longer go to ministry to preach. And I'm thinking, I wish they give me a hundred thousand. No. Fact, when I'm there, I'm thinking, how can I bless them? Because I'm independent of any man. I don't know when the last time I ever said, lived on my salary. I don't even know. Because it can't supply all my needs. It would take a God. So somebody be delivered from men. Now let me explain the, how men come in. How men come in. You remember the person of scripture, a good measure, pressed down, shut them together. Shall men give to your bosom? These are men who are auto directed by God. I wish you know how many people bring me money on a daily. Even cry. No, it's cry. It, it can make a person cry. Auto directed. Auto like I don't I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. This, that kind of man is not helping you. They are helping themselves. They are So it would even be wrong for somebody to say, I not I not It's not arrogance here. I'm saying. They think that they don't give you so you won't be. God says, I will. He will get another one and give them the zeal. And if they refuse, he will get another one and push them. That one also refuses. He has ways to make ways. Either way. You will not want to jacquetaga. That is why the scriptures say that there is a contentment. First Timothy chapter six. Timothy And godliness with godliness. I want to show you something. Let's go there. We're going to come back in Philippians. I, I want to show you something. Chapter six. First Timothy. He says, but godliness with being self-independent is great gain. Sure that, give, me, give me a message. Message a message. That. A devout life does bring wealth. But it's the rich simplicity of being yourself before God. Ah, thank you. It's you, your Yourself, you say, can you deliver yourself from thinking that you and somebody can make something. Supposing they fail, does that mean you fail? 
No. That is selfish of them to think. No, no. If they fail, let him fail. You, you will not fail. You have another covenant with God. I don't know about them. Your slot is there. Your slot is there. I have a friend here. The mother is around. I don't know if she will testify or not. And so worked against her. They fired her. We've been praying with her regarding her mom. Every she visits. She comes. She's even around. She prays with us every day. She, is she around? Why? Uh, where is Hilda's mom? Is she around? Oh, hello. Ah, she's a lady. William Charles. Back in there. Rich woman. So some people fight her. They get her fired. She goes somewhere and does her own thing. And all of a sudden, recently, Jewsy. they fire all of them and bring her back. <laughs> Even if it means men to die, they, they will die for you to go ahead. Amen. Nobody. Can stand in your way, nobody. What you want now? What you want now? If it means that they can say, if she comes, we go. God says, let them go. Why? Because you're under another covenant here. There's a covenant issues, not sentiments. You don't put in feelings the person of a covenant is not fought against. That's the life of God. Let's go back to Philippians. I'm to show you. I'm still showing you some in Philippians. So he says, I have learned. Not that I speak in respect to one. No. That's why I read for you where he went to Macedonia. And nobody sent him. Even the Philippians. Even the Philippians is now telling them. Now Philippians You didn't give me because I want your money. Do you understand? This is a man who has learned to buy sell. Do you understand? This is a man who has learned to by self know how to get anything he wants. Am I making sense? But anybody that would send, you never saw letters written to the church of Philippians telling them, Without you, we can't go ahead. I know this is an arrogant talk. You're not familiar with how God functions. But if your God is bigger than any man, if your budget is bigger than any man, do you understand what I'm saying? So, you don't see Paul right in the church in Philippians. If you need to give us anything, you can give us. We are going to die if you don't give us anything. But Philippian church, what Paul is in Macedonia? Philippi, Paolo, Gale, Macedonia. God worked. This is the zeal of God can do. Are you hearing me? He's preaching my gospel. I'll make sure he does not want. That anything that works for you is working because you have set those principles in the spirit. And no devil. You see. This, that's why I want to show you. Master, I'm going to prove to you that the devil has no business with this. When you have the covenant, I want to disprove all your funny thoughts of Anzi, Vatitania, Tupac. When Paul says you are not ignorant of these devices, he means you have a spiritual DNA that can know whatever the devil wants to do. But you also go and teach it for one whole week learning devil. You can teach it. 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 But you see nothing. Truth. Yes, that's how I, I am. No. We are not. We have an attitude here. We have stuff in us that tells us what the devil wants to do when he wants to do it. This can only work if you choose and say, I believe it. Say, 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 say,
That's why I can't sit here and start to teach you demons. I know you know. If you don't have faith that now you know. When you get your spirit to know that the devil will never attack me without knowing. Nothing happens to me right now. I sat down with Irene. We have a girl in the bank. She works with DTV. Irene started praying with us because I told her, I told her, I know everything. She said, she So one time we were upstairs. I said to tell her, so one time it's coming. She the bank. She said, no. I After some minutes, another one is going to say, I told her, you see in the meeting room here, there's a guy who's going to turn the ring. You have to three seconds. Now she she knows. Katia Mani. <laughs> we know. To Mani. We know. To Mani. It is to get a person from here and hire them in secret service. You are you are given to Yana, she'll tell you. A lady did something at their workplace. And I was in my bed. Oh, see that that me. Hey, I started to describe. Is it true? Is she small? Yes. Not on the right here. Sometimes it gets rashes than I hear. Oh, uh, uh, the hair, yes. Yeah. Yeah, this, yes. Yeah, in a chino. Right. <gasps> 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 Before you still I know you. We are not ignorant the Tuliban to Watamani of his devices. I met a woman in Kenya one time. She had spent eight years working for a company and they'd never increased even a fee on a salary. She was a sister to a great woman of God one day, you know, we'll visit here. God, Rebecca, a deep woman. Deep. So I meet the woman, we start praying. She tells me, Pastor, why haven't I been promotion for the last eight years? And as I laid my head like this to pray, eight years ago, I see the woman. I said, eight years ago, there was a young woman, she was called Helen, she used to put on oversized coats, she used to put on a brownish wig, she used to sit on her left side. Eight years. Ellen. Ellen. Brown, short. No, the mom's what? Don't remember. Said Jokida. We were eating. Charlie Tulia. He just bumped like a bomb. I remember him. He said Jokida. He bumped a bomb. He said Jokida. 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 I told her Helen did that. Helen in college. Some people, that's the only way they can be delivered. Well, I'm because because she knew more. I would not mention Helen. But she didn't know any other way. She didn't know any way to get it. We started it from there. And she was promoted. Now, you're dealing with people who can't even say no weapon fast, even if they say it, they don't know what they mean. So those ones, you, you swap that way. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? You swap that way. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Now, I'm going deeper here. Says I've learned in whatever state I am there with to be content. Now let's go down. He says, I know both how to be a best and <laughs> here, Wano. when a man says, I know how to be. It means he does it. He intends to empty, not the devil. He says, I know how to be a bear. That means he knows how to give away everything. I'm not talking of a man who knows to a bear. I'm talking of a man who knows how to a bear. I'm not a man who knows who 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 has to give everything. That's not love. That's why the Bible says even if you give all your belongings to the poor and have not love. A man who in agape here does not just give everything to the poor. Some of more sentimental than revelation. But this guy is doing it. In Revelation. You understand he and I'll, I'll explain that in a few minutes. He said, I know how to. How to. That 
That means I know how to seize that opportunity. It just doesn't happen. I don't wake up and say, oh, I didn't even knew how when you give them, you're actually disobeying God. You're just disobeying God. I'm telling you. There are people, when you do it, you're just disobeying God. Anyway, you'll understand it when you grow up. I'm not talking of a man who just gives. But I'm, I'm talking of a man who can do it and you think they're also like the other one who is doing it. But for him he's doing it under instruction. This one is not doing it under instruction. God cannot teach you how to make lame men walk and he doesn't teach you how to empty your wallet. He cannot teach you how to raise dead men if he has not taught you, if he can't teach you that you can give anything you have. This is instruction. It's instruction. It's like a, 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 a Christian, simple thing, a Christian who can finish drinking Yogurt. Nanya yogurt and trash on the road. It's very hard to find that man flowing in the miraculous. I'm not saying legal here, I'm revelation. And I can prove it. God is clean. He's clean. Thank you. Hey, gum. Chewing gum. Who are you hiding from God? I No, 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 do you understand what I'm saying? Are you hearing me? He cannot teach you one side and not teach you the other. Because his distance here is perfecting all things that concern you. Am I making sense? Now, the man says, I know how to obey. And the, the core of my, the, the, the secret I'm telling you, he says, I know how to abound. Everywhere. That means, throw me in Damascus, I will thrive. Throw me in, the, in, in, in Kitgum, I will thrive. Take me to Mataka. I, that's why me, I can't have dreams of going back in the village. You know? Because I can't have dreams of I'll build a church there. He knows me. Simple. I dreamt I'm going back in the village. Recreation. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Darling. He said you're blessed in the city. Even in the village you're blessed. Even in the village. God, they are blessed. This guy knows how. And I'm going to show you how to be rich. He says, I know how to. Now, I'm teaching you to know how to. Not how to, but to know how to. There's a difference between teaching a man how to get rich. He might never teach it to another man. But if you teach a man how, to know, as in to know how to. He can speak to another one also. Because I'm following a prophetic word I just delivered at the beginning of this service. He says, I know how to abound. Everywhere. And in open. He says, I am instructed. Both to be full and to be 
hungry no kubo muyala but to abound okubera ne binji and to suffer ni no kubanga ne ndi bweta get me the message version get a message version i'm curious to begin from the 10th nani ke kunyire ko 9th i think hello mwenda aha okay we had read that but i want us to begin from there Okay, put into practice what you've learned from me what you had and so realize do that and god who makes everything work together will work you into his most excellent harmony that's wonderful he will work you into it ajja baingiza ajja ko baingiza into it ajja ba ko baingiza you working sikwana nga pola go go sikwana baingiza mo papa think he he will it just katonda make sure afuwo kulaba anti you in it ochirimu let's continue so yongere i'm glad in god far happier than you would ever get musampu nyo no happy that you are again showing such strong concern for me so you musampu ndi mulaga nyo fayo nyo jendi okwa mali not that you ever quit praying and thinking about me you just had no chance to show it sente mu mule ko kusaba no kundoza ko ndi tumwe na maganya kwa chikola actually i don't have a sense of needing it's not in the senses to chirimu na mbongo bo ba moye mukwira oh lord she doesn't even sense that she for me that she knows that you're not sure that I'm not feeling that you think personally muntu yenga ye i've learned by now to be quite content whatever my circumstances nikakato kwa mati mumbera yange yona next and just as happy with little as with much with much as with little i have found the recipe for being happy whether full or hungry hands full or hands empty He knows how to abound. He knows. Amanyengeri okuba munenja amanyengeri. Amanyengeri okuba mutanyufu. I'm not talking of the happiness of saying. Fikira fanya rigamba anti. Microphone is agree but I'm happy. Kasimka kabira de kakade na endi musanyufu. No. I I proved that. Echo before. Echo nazo. Love you Kamali you know I can prove that. Muka kasande echo nachi work echo nachi je onchi. Yeah because content of that outer case. Wanga outer case. It's not a man satisfied simo tukwanga mache simo tivolete chali but a man satisfied because he can meet anything he wants independent of him mativo ndikwanga ya solo kwetu sako chona chona cha yagala ye kuru ye am i making sense nkola makuru am i making sense nkola makuru am i making sense nkola makuru now let's go back to to the king james again to the king james now he says i know how to abate and i know how to abound everyone in all the things i'm instructed the white guys Mao like Mao Mia like that Mao Mia Mao Mia and when i'm studying it the the greek uses this word he says to initiate somebody into a secret god study get no chisome so if i remove that i say i know both how to be broke and how to be rich so if i remove that i say i know both how to be broke and how to be rich everywhere and in all things manyoko mbaba ne initiated in the secret kubanga na yingizi wanatekebwa muchama as initiated in the secret na yingizi wa muchama of how to ichenge ile chikola is what i'm trying to show you chengeza ko balaga na few minutes and i'll be done nda chingatone yanja kuba maridisha let's continue kayongere next line lenyero deko I can do all things nyinzo kole bintu byonna through Christ which strengthens me kita mkristo ya pama is opening some bigger here kana chakula yechi nene nja kula gecha mawa a man is independent of themselves mtu wabanga yake nyini ye mweto yetongola yeka and independent from men edanga sala kula bana he can do all things to work to meet whatever he needs asokola byonna byene byakoze okubanga asikene bisha no longer even corporate prayer no tali sala ya abanjo ba ya wam even nobody will believe with you 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 can do it wadenga toli mutaja kiriza wamu nawe gosoro chikola ama meka sa nkola makuru and the other rendering say, shows that he has learned how to be self sufficient he even the ganta era ganti anything he needs himself aizo kubanga funa bachi etaga yenga yekululwe does it shock you now when he says in corinthians that the sufficient is not of us chikanga bagamba makonso bagandi no okumala okumala corinthians 35 Okay, so chokubiri. So not that's a sufficient. Let's go there. Now I'm 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 teaching you a secret. Katimba tsume se chama. Go back. Okay. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves. Sinte watu malafu malafu. To think anything as of ourselves. Okuloza echi tonna kulwa. And that's how many people think. Abanda asinga ibaloza bati. So when you say I'm independent 
of myself. It means you're going to do things your way. You will crash. He says, but I have sufficiency in the sufficiency is of God. Give me the message version. The message version. He says, we wouldn't think of writing this kind of letter about ourselves. Then, Only God can write such a letter. Only God. Only God can write your story. Only God can Katonda write your story. Next line. Continue the message. The kingdom says, King James says, is, is it the next one that says, who has also made us able ministers of the covenant, right? Of the New Testament. He has given you an ability to live like the New Testament. Uh-huh. Give us the message version. His letter authorizes us to help carry out this new plan in action, the secret. The plan wasn't written out with ink on paper, with pages and pages of legal footnotes, killing your spirit. It is written with spirit, on, on spirit, his life, on our lives. Woo. It's written with spirit, on spirit, his life, on our lives. The sufficiency is no longer of you. The sufficiency is of God. Who has made you carry out this new plan of action? And he says, it wasn't written out in ink. What I'm saying, it's not written anywhere in ink. Now, let me even spoil it further. Now, let me even spoil it further. Not even here. Somewhere else. Now, let me even spoil it further. Not even here. Somewhere else. Not even here. When he's writing about the seven churches, do you remember? Church in Thyatira, I have this against you. Church in Cappadocia, Church in Phrygia, Church in Laodicea. After he says everything, he tells them, let him who has ears hear what the Spirit of God says to the churches. Now, let me even spoil it further. He says, he has written it, but there's another thing. He has written it. When you're reading, there's another thing. There's another kind of ear by which he writes with spirit. spirit. Remember faith? You remember how Roman says it? King James. He says, faith comes I hear it. It's Romans what? 1017. Let's open there. Open there. I want to show you something. And the King James amazingly one works with the original rendering. The point is that Romans. Go back. Romans 1017. So then, the original rendering, actually the Greek as well writes this way. Says, so then faith cometh by hearing. Comma. Now, first dimension of hearers says, and by hearing the word. first dimension. Second dimension will understand. It says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word. That means I am by the word and I start to hear. This is deeper than what I'm thinking. Even if I'm thinking it wrong, there's a guy who explains another way. This guy introduced Paul in the secret. He instructed him. Here, empty your wallet. Here, don't do this. When he gets to Thessalonica, they are babes. He tells them, don't 
agamba poto basabiriza and the bible says no church communicated to my needs in thessalonica tuli tuli kanisha tayari ile tabora ya thessalonica outer cast nyati na ina okubanga netongote are you hearing me mm. i had an independent self na ino wet okwetongola kwenna ina even if they didn't give me anything i'll still preach na ne batamba chinto na nja siga na nji buli and i come the cuddles are on i cuddles mama ngaba oje we joma na omutonera na ngwe ntwe na bwa by the very anointing katondo lwa mafuta ke gamwa gets to philippe atoke philippe and gets folk na kwataba lokule be they find themselves ne besanganga arranging money but they got a consent but they get they get a power you don't understand to chitikira i'm talking of people starting to build nay are their head is thinking about you ndogera kwa lata niko kuzimba denga omutoke gulooza kugwe mugwa muya no somebody think can they say ha can my car can you mira mukana so money is speaking about it nenga kwa gulooza ko ne waluwe chintu i work for you ekikorera gwe chikola kulurwo gwe In that realm you don't need a white man. Kudalete weta ga muzungu. You just need God. Weta ga weta zikatonda yeka. Am I making sense? <laughs> Am I making sense? In that place, which is pecho kudalerio. You cannot look for a particular man. Kenza generi muntu yenna. And say without this guy. No mugambo no watali. The ministry can't move. Oweza te bisola gena ma. So with the effect of today. Katika de tsegezo kono. We have appointed you elder of the church. Tukulonze ngomo kadewe kanisa. He's not really mature. Sina mukuru echimala. Still a novice at that speed. Atali budje mumu. The man's got money. Nembo lokuba ina sente. So we need him. Mutumwe ta gana olwecho. No. Nedda nedda nedda. You look at the people they call elders. You know that when we buy tambu abakate. Why even in the news has money? Only. I na sent it. Elder. Oh you mo kadde wa kadde. Then everybody in heart of Christ is going to be an elder. Take us out of the heart of Christ again up there mo kadde wa kadde. Anybody listening to me you're going to be an elder very soon. Bole mo ntwa please go get up there. We have a choice. Elder put your name. Mo kadde take away nya lyo. The church thinks elder means age. Kenza yeah, chiroza anti eroza ndo mukade chikeza miaka. Elder is not age. Isonga yobo kade mukane chikeza miaka. It chikeza obukuru. Umo. That's why he says for so by it the elders obtain the good report. He's not talking about men who are old. Tegera ku ndi bakade abaine mbi. He's talking about men who have matured in the spirit. Tegera ku bantu abakuze mu moyo. Let's go back to Deo. Philippians. He says, "I know how to obey. I know how to abound for I'm instructed." I'm going to tell you certain things. Nothing in the background. Whatever said, ah, I know both how to be a best and know how to abound everywhere. All things I'm instructed, both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound. So this is spirit. On a moyo. Spirit. Moyo kumoyo. It's life on your life. Obulambe kubulamu bwo. Are you hearing me? Mm. Are you hearing me? Mm. Let's continue. Say you get it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He's trying to affirm that the sufficiency is not of us. The moment you understood that God is your finances, he's not going to give you. He is it. Yes, yes, wow. 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 And that's when he continued to speak of the things that they were doing. Right continue. Verse 2. Let me show you one more thing. Sabalagechi de chirachimu. There's something in 2 Corinthians 6. Why didn't my Corinthians talk with the church? Why of what they went through? Why get a quick quick to write them. About the ninth verse had press abandoned I have had been a time accepted blah 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 of salvation. Let's go to the third part. I want to listen to Paul speaking. Giving no offense in anything. That the ministry be not blamed. 
When a man says we didn't want to give offense in anything, mm -hmm. not to bring mm -hmm. shame to the gospel, it means he had another way not to go through all this stuff. So that means it's not the devil. It's the man's choice. Let's continue. But in all things are proving ourselves as the ministers of God in much patience, in affliction, he has chosen to approve himself in affliction. You have another choice as well. I just read from you. In necessities, in distresses, this is not the devil. Let's continue. In stripes, in imprisonment, in tumults, in labors, in watching, in fasting. This is not the devil. By pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love and faith, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the arm of righteousness on the right hand, and on the left, let's continue. By honor and dishonor, by evil. Report and good report. As deceivers and yet true. As unknown yet well known. As dying, behold, we leave. As trusting the not killed. As sorrowful yet always rejoicing. As who are yet not making men rich. As we live this. For the prophets of the gospel, but who are not it. For the prophets of the gospel, but who are not it. So in those instances, you see the man in a basement. It's actually the house of knowing at this point I have to separate myself with all this for the sake of the gospel. And the moment he does it, he knows how to get more without manipulating people. So this when a man knows he can get another bed. I have a problem solving it. And that's the thing about faith. My pastor knows. I saw to him by faith. Even if I woke up and I don't have a million cents on my account, I can wake up and say, Pastor, I'm sowing a hundred grand. In my head, I have learned how to get the 900. First, the better 100 is to tie. And my 100, he knows that. <laughs> I know how. I know how. I know how. And as I nobody here can say, Grace, I know how. Are you hearing me? I could say, let me wait for the million. I promise I will give it to you. Now, for example, I promise God I'm telling him I'll give you the first million dollars I get. It. I will first show a hundred grand. And first time. <laughs> you don't understand. I won't need to raise a million first. Because I know the order. Mine is of faith. Even if it's no longer faith. I don't give from lack. I give from abundance. And I've never lacked. And I've never gotten there. And failed to get the 900. You don't earn by what you receive from men. You earn from what you receive from God. And because God is spirit, He must make your spirit rich before your flesh and the body can be rich. Now when I get it in the spirit, spirit written on spirit, 
I obey with what's available physical. <laughs> Can you understand what I'm saying? What is it? I obey. You see the law used to say you shall give a tenth of your increase you're not under the law you're under grace when you're functioning in grace it can only be of faith that it will be of grace not the physical sins because the Bible says the sins that are seen are temporary the people who used to in the law used to give as they increase but when you enter the grace he told you if you're functioning in grace the principle is faith well it can come before wonderful give God it can come before. Wonderful. Give God. But if it doesn't, if it refuses, do you carry a wisdom in the spirit to propel the very faith in the physical that it has no choice? <laughs> Do you think God is broke? Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Now, again here I'm talking of being independent of men. So he says it can only be of faith that it can be of grace. When you become a grace person, you give because you believe. You have. How did you believe you have? How do I know you have? Whatsoever you ask and believe no that you have it, you shall have it. Some of you don't understand what I'm saying. When Jesus gets it and says, This is my blood. At that point, even if they were drinking wine, it is wine. Simply because he said it. Now, our sufficiency is here. He told me if I ask of anything and believe that I have received that which I have asked for, he says, I shall have. Now, remember, you spoke of two halves. The first having was believing that I have received that half. Then I shall have it. Physically. So the having is not physical. The having is spiritual. And spirit to spirit. You might not have the house but if you have it spiritual that is more truth because the things that are not seen bring about the things that are seen you have to walk like you have the house you have to like you have the house funny confession your confession changes your functioning changes. No and if you're a preacher person, you're to move by faith. This one they, they, don't, they can be coward, but you, you must be ready to function in faith. That's why no we the priests, the people inheritance, children of Israel, the priests never got land. All the children of Israel are using, but to the tribe of Levite, they sat abroad abroad and told them, you live on your own. Why? Because he doesn't want any minister to be subject to what they have physically. He is too small. We have to the people who are watching us right now in Thailand.
We just started a big church right there a few weeks ago. They're doing great. I want to finish. By your permission, Pastor Isaiah, let me show these people one thing. Let's go to about the 11th part. I want to show you something. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 16. Verse 16. He says, but thou, o man of God, leave these things and follow up to righteousness, godliness. If you read before, you remember that's why I read for you contentment and godliness, right? So he's speaking of the very principle. Then he speaks of men's weaknesses, and he says, but godliness is contentment. Yeah, let's continue down to 11. He says, but thou, man of God, flee these things and follow up the righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, weakness, continue. Fight the good fight of faith. Before you drive that car, fight it to have it in the spirit. And do the things you will do when you have it in the physical. A person who is crazy in the Lord. When such a person wants to go. A little gun to my car. Range Rover Sports. Range Rover Sports. It has oil. It has oil. One maker. How much does it cost? One minute. The telling you why. Then he gives the money. He gets the oil. He says, Father, I thank you for my Range Rover, which I'm going to put fuel and oil. Then they walk. But do you realize that something left his pocket? Because he believes. That kind of man will drive a sport. Unless God is a liar. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Where unto thou art also called. And hast professed a good profession. Give me the message version of it. Message version. Run hard and fast in faith. Seek the eternal life. The life you were called to. The life you also fervently embraced in the presence of so many witnesses. Give me the amplified. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal life to which you are summoned, for which you confess the good confession faith before men. And because it's faith, there's a confession that starts coming. We say what? We say what? Yes. Uh, come, I invite you home. Come and eat lunch. When you have no home. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Am I making sense here? Now, here he's saying, Thank you. Somebody said you're making faith not sense. Yes. I I believe believe that. That. Am I making sense? Hey. <laughs> That's wonderful. I like it. I'm, go I'm going to adopt it. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. God told me <laughs> we're moving into a very crazy season. People will not. Now, that's how faith is. Right now in the spirit, I'm attaching you to it. <laughs> Some of you are going to drive cars that men have worked 20 years for. You're going to build houses that men are retiring in. You're going to build houses that men are retiring in. 
abantu ge banyukira mu ejiri wenda otandikira mu chala that's why you begin that's 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 your starting point then people will say naye mwenga we mumalira kwa malira what is that where we end it we mutandikira is where you guys are beginning from this you see faith meant okiriza you can do all things kutegeza nto yinza byo no sobolo kole bintu byo na why do you limit your what you take ke komo because you think you can depend anything you depend on something Mukubanga golozo so ndo kwetu nchini ule bado kwenye baba kamba ndebiro sibirunji the government has failed us government yetu lemeseza maana they have robbed us manya batunyaze we bali babezo muloko litozali mu when the robbing money your money was not in because of this our money is still in the in the air like this when the bible says money answers to all things bible gan said za nuko le bintu byo yes no how to call it omanya manya ge yozita mzija kujja am i making sense nkola makuru once the church doesn't lack kasteka ni setabulwa okay mm. and we start preaching netandiko kubolera people will understand more bantu bajje kutegera nnyo nyine because you're not preaching to a hungry stomach kuba tobolera eliyo eliyo libuto oluyala no neda she's full muko fu atisanga church eli kama futa now find the church which is which is anointed they met the lame wolf they raised the dead but in us say they have got money in a revelation they have got revelation what can't you do i tell more by in a degree and you don't have degrees now the guys in the choir abo mpa ya basinga keep all of those guys are first class people but never first class they twa kwa twa riba gezi we never said we were come and i show my transcript yangu la get transcript ne jona ya 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 ise Come and I show you my transcript. Yes, Those my things of me I never went to school. Like that that no. 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 God of school God will still use you. Yes, he he you still you still still something. Go back to school. <laughs> I'm from there come and we do other things. I don't want somebody to say you see and that that no. I want them to say my eyes and I assure that them that I know that. that. I will put that aside, I say, but you know Jesus. There are places you will not go. What if you are just going them unless you have a paper. Okuja kongo ino lupapula olo mchibina olukogera ko. If you go there you won't make sense. Otagere otaja kola bakuru. I'm telling you. I've seen men who went such opportunities never zip. Na banda bafane mega nje jimene and they killed them. They had the exposure never zip. Bali bafane bali bakutwa oni ne bakisha. Nyambe ro mubuli. So when you call me for motivation hand I can. Nebo mpito ku wangeje. Motivation of speaking nenyi mira burunji went. And then I zip the other side of motivation. Nenda kuri lyo lyo. I don't even quote scripture but by the time I finish nengendo kuvawo. You understand I'm born of God. Ngoma inazali bakatonda. Sa sim elucidated to the point no who you're speaking to i talk to one spiritual because you're ministering to spirit we're talking to timely again of petro money again of kupo money you have money in the pocket you know you speak different when you get mungeri anjaulo get to your feet you made it come aguru go get to your feet you made it come aguru go get to your feet you made it come aguru go Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Listen. We did it. Listen. We did it. We are moving in a time. Tole kirambisera where people will need you to sit them down at least for an hour to understand abantu baje bato mu wadde sawa na you don't give them an hour you don't go where gara kunte you tell me you want to understand me kuna kacho je wa fe get time and come home to papa kumuga mataja kubitege don't hurry to tell them because they won't understand think some of you are going to look for you emu abuko mitu be mu kina banonya manyi people here are giving crazy Abantu anoba obujulizenga bo busuku me bwachi aluddala. And when I hear them I'm thinking. Era bwe mbuli randoza. They are too crazy that some people even tell me busumba tocho. Okay, let's say that. Let's say this. That is when my 
Not everybody you see here is broken. But I'm saying, you're gonna have more. Am I making sense? The secret one. Be delivered from men. Small of wit with the Kuantu. And lastly, by faith. Oh, he go to bed all of Kiriza. You will not try it and not love it. So it's just chicken. The woman I'm talking about here. Tell me about the back of the Kiriza. The 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 Sylvia woman. I saw Sylvia earning 50,000 and I'm thanking with her. Now she told me I submit to you. I told her, you must look this day. Don't be afraid of the woman. Are you hearing me? 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 But now she has moved people to get at my work. Ni kana ndaba kwa sizo bujja kumulimu jenkolera. I'm a boss. I'm the boss. Physically I earn more than her. Muri wo musinga ko. Mumit okusinga kumutindo ga bank. But she lives life with some people who are in materials. Nabe rambula munga naba mu kwali mpo bya wa manager nga kote. You can live a crazy life. So kwera mu bulamu kuonga ke utajika. Loko kiriza. You can so begin this way. Get a pen. Write what you want. Write what you want. And say, "Me God, I want this." Write things you can believe. If you can't, don't write. Faith also has reality. And sometimes reality is as far as your eye can see. I'm over to put into. I'm asking God to solve the problem. Right. Wandika. Me, do this. But when you're writing it, Nengo write it as thank in God. <laughs> write it knowing. Because the moment you're, you're thinking and you're praying, as the man thinks, so he is. Now, the next page will be fighting the fight. Of faith. Of faith. Fighting to believe. Fighting to believe. And when you finish writing those things on your paper, don't let any man speak contrary to what you preach. Don't care how crazy it is. 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 Don't You don't have to worry. Don't try to assume in faith. Don't 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 assume in faith. Whatever you know how to, you cannot love because it doesn't control you. You control what you focus. So now, man, you don't live by man. They don't have all the things. Man lives by you. Men make money. Money eats, make it down. Money doesn't make men. Money doesn't make money. Men make money. Why do you think when a man works hard, but he also money work for you, and he becomes rich? In the world they say he made money. Now in the spirit, we also have another way to make. But if we do not think in that way, we will not make money. I don't know who will catch this. But whoever will catch this, you're not going to be understood in a few days from now. I just want to raise your voice to you. Thank you. No kwa za. Crazy gratitude.
yourself, feed your man. You will not want any good things. 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 You will not You will not struggle with men. You will not struggle with people. You will not struggle with your bosses. You will live better than men. You will earn better than men. God will make a way where there seems to be God will make a way for you to live it. He will make a way for you to live it. Whatever you're written, you will not be a man who will 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 be a man who won't take you to fulfill. It will not take you to fulfill. It will take a God. Who is your sufficient? When the Bible says, your self-independent, the Bible says, God is your sufficient. That means, you are God. Ye katonda mukatonda. Ye are a God. We are katonda. Why? Because Raj Kubanga. Your father is God. Chitawo ye katonda isabuna. Whatever your dad can do, Ritao cha inzo kora. You can do. Now o inzo chikora. Whatever your dad can build, Ritao cha solo kuzimba. You can build. Now o solo chizimba. Whatever your dad can create, Ritao cha solo kutonda. You can create. Now o solo chitonda. Jesus says, I do. Yesu agamba mkola. As I see my father do. Kwa na wajita mwenga mkola. There is no man involved in this. No human being is involved in this. If they will be involved, it will only to meet him. Not to manipulate them. Not to criticize them. Not to fight them. Not to pull strings with them. He will send them to you. They will dig roads to find you. They will set things to find you. They will set things to find you. They will set things to find you. Listen. What is this? A year ago, a few years ago, I found a woman who had prophesied on 12 years. She got tired of prophecy. She got tired of prophecy. Listen to this. Because somebody needs to listen to it. I was in church behind praying. And he tells me, you see that woman? I said, yeah. We've prophesied for her on her life for so long. But I got the glamour of Malay Banga Guam. That she cannot believe. I came to her. I said, Jaji. And I told her the Lord has told me to prophesy to you over here. I'll bring her for you soon. And she told me, "Oh, God, have you also come to prophesy?" And I said, "No." I came to make it happen. And I said, "No." I came to make it happen. And I said, "No." I came to make it happen. And I said, "No." I came to make it happen. And I said, "No." I came to God told me what was disturbing us. He laid hands on her. He said that day was three and a week ago. Three months. He said that day was 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 three months. Two days later, he gets a vision of our faith. He tells his friends, the two friends, say, ah, this is one holiday. Why don't we go and visit him and see where the body is sitting here? They came to Chirika. They came to Chirika. 
from the UK. Okuba mu ebongereza. Looking for Mama Robert. Gabano nya Mama Robert. If I see her I will know. Bumulaba nje kumanya. And then they got to her. Okay so leva mu tuka. But when I came because God told me. Sije nam na jana mgani. Ni kwa kwani I must give you. Wolo muendo kwa sente kwende kitu kukua. Long story short, bought a plot of land in that man, started building in that man, got capital in that man. And then time she met me, the woman who used to sit hungry because she loved food, not eat because she was a maid. I came to her and I said, Mama, I have a dream. Emmanuel as the jury He comes to you as the jury That is why when he gets to the prophet Simeon and tells him you will not die until you see the so salvation of God I gonna be to enter your focus and glory because what it meant to go into a stable He just needed to be next to Simeon. Because Simeon is too old to move many kilometers away because our king must be born in a hotel. There, was, there is no room for the inn. No room. No room in the inn. No room. But you see, God promised Simeon. Before you die, you will see. That if it means going into a stable, and I'm born there as such that you see me, I will come. God can break any rules to make his word come to pass. I want to give God a mighty hand clap. He will do anything that is called a generation. Anything. To fulfill his word in your life. To fulfill his word in your life. This song that you will see, that no matter how long, this song of one who watch you will see the goodness of the Lord. In the land of the Lord, if it means God getting somebody and getting them your name, what is your name? Will leave Uganda and start traveling. Watch the name of Jacob from Uganda and go down. So his name went ahead of him. Remember that Kubanga the name of Yamu Sokayo. And it's your name. Watch the name of you. We'll go ahead of you. The Jacob Sokayo. And tomorrow morning people will wake up. And just watch how they will go. And somebody will say, I've been thinking about Omondo. But then they will say, I don't know what you brought us. I don't know where I brought us. This is where you brought us. That we're not pushing. Your name will move ahead of you. They will cut you. In the name of Him. That's why I speak to them. To start becoming you. I speak to your name. To go ahead of you. That you won't need to ask. That they will need to give you. Never jump. We do not go down. Never jump. Go quit. Go poor. In Jesus' name. Holy Jeria, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Shake somebody's hand and tell them I'm rich. Father, I'm going to go to Mumu Gambe. I'm going to go. The message you have just heard was brought to you by Fenero Ministries International. For more information, contact us on telephone number zero four one four six six. 4291 or email us at fenerocompala at gmail.com you can also find us on the web at www.fenero.org or better still feel free to join us every thursday for our weekly fellowship at uma multi-purpose hall from 5 p.m to 8 p.m you can also catch the live stream at livestream.com slash fenero fenero make manifest